Okay, so today was all about pottering around on my boat doing stuff. My list, I had to put silicone sealant all around the bath because we had a leak. It had gone down the back of the bath and in the corner and we had to pull up some carpet and dry it all out so that's been a bit of a nightmare so I had to reseal the bath. I also had to do an oil change and I also had to check a fuel filter leak as well. I also had to clean the roof and also fill up my water tank and also fill up a coal scuttle and make some kindling and eat lunch and so many things. I shot a little bit of footage of me in the engine room for your delectation and delight. Okay. Time for a quick oil change and primary fuel filter check. I should be able to do this without any getting any gunk on myself or on the camera, which would be a miracle. Having drained the oil out of the engine and measuring it as I drained it out, just over three liters, maybe 3.5 liters of oil came out of it. Then I took out the filter. Very important when you put the new filter back on, put a bit of engine oil around the rubber seal. That will aid in its release when you do the oil change again. I'm now having problems with my rubber gloves because I had to take them off to sort out another problem with the filter. A little rubber around a tiny little nut perished. Can you see that? And because that tiny little split occurred, I, um, I had a diesel leak. And that's not too much of a problem, uh, but it was a diesel leak that over time uh, just covered my entire um, the shelf of my engine bay. And uh, it's annoying because um, I did notice that a, a cloth that I put in there to soak up water had gone red. And I, thought, oh, I wonder what that's about. And then over time I thought, ah, oh, that's probably a diesel leak, I wonder how big it is, and then discovered that it was quite big. Anyway, I have put on a new washer, all these diesel filters come, with a whole new washer kit. Brilliant. So, I have installed the new rubber washer and tightened it back up. I now have to check that there aren't, there aren't any air pockets in the system and uh, start up the engine again. I will also uh, check to see if the uh, if the oil is at the correct level for the engine and for that I have to just check my dipstick which is right underneath the oil filter I have just changed. So there we go oil change fuel filter check done. And now the news. CRT did something. We just redid our license and they have changed the license from looking like this to looking like this. You just print it off yourself. Now, there was something about this which I liked. I liked the fact that it was kind of um, sent to you by the post. It also had this lovely little sort of green band on it and it was actually printed really really nice uh, by CRT. Their information on the back. Uh, when they ask you to print your own one out uh, it just looks cheap and it looks very easily copyable. Um, I don't know what there is to stop maybe someone who has two boats that they've just built that they're painted with red oxide and they both look very very similar licensing one photocopying this doctoring it maybe the name changing the numbers maybe keeping them maybe a mile apart and then just cycling between the two so um i don't know what they're doing 
CRT. I mean, obviously, this saves them a lot of money. Uh, do they need to save that much money? Because they're not really passing on the saving to their customers. So, CRT, please go back to something that looks more official and please put a stamp on it, put a watermark on it, something so that we know that it is a valued and genuine license we are putting in our windows, please. Last but by no means least, today is Valentine's Day. So, for all of you watching, thank you. I love you all. But also, it was recently Pancake Day. Uh, so just to give a little recipe to you guys, what I've done is I've made a little time lapse of me making a pancake. The easiest pancake recipe in the world. It's just one cup of self-raising flour, one cup of milk, I use soy milk, and one egg. That's it. Whatever you put on your pancakes, I know some people put, uh, uh, I know that some people put Marmite, some people put um, gravy, some people put Nutella and banana and all sorts of other things. Um, when I used to eat meat, I used to love maple syrup and bacon. But now I'm back to just uh, sugar and lemon because, hey, I was raised in the 80s, so sugar and lemon, that's, that's, that's me all the way. Um, absolutely delicious pancakes. Have fun with the recipe. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Sally loves the snow. Is that good? <laughs>